All right, so I just realized that the uh, camera cut me off a little early. Um, so what I was saying is that, um, you know, the previous stitch that I had done was the basting stitch. So you want to make sure that you adjust your stitch length to two and a half before you stitch down this center line. And that's all that you're going to do is you're going to connect this ruffle to your, your back fabric um, just along that center stitch line that you had drawn. Now, if um, for some reason you can't see your stitch line very well, um, if you if you used your um, your presser foot as a guide, um, it's really you're stitching right down the center. You should have your stitch lines on your ruffle running along one side on the left and right side of your presser foot. So you can kind of use that as a guide too. Just make sure that it's um, that it's centered, and then. Um, you're just going to back stitch at the front and at the end of that seam and then when you're done what you can do is you can come back and take out all of these pins and so that's um, that's what I had done off camera and then I realized that uh, my camera uh, my video had cut me off a little bit so I just need to charge up my battery um, and clear off my memory card so um, what you can then what you can do is like if you need to do any like kind of last minute adjusting here you can um, and then um, what you can also do is we can then now go back in and remove those basting stitches and this center line will actually um, stay in place so I'm just going to go ahead and um, take out take out these basting stitches here and so until there's enough I can grab a hold of um, both on the top and the bottom just going to take I'm just using my seam ripper and I'm just grabbing that long thread until there's something I can grab and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to um, make sure that I have the same situation on the far side of my of my ruffle here. I want to make sure that I can grab a hold of these these basting stitches and go ahead and pull those out. Then I have this kind of big clump of um, thread from you know where my where it was wrapped around in a figure eight. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out, and then trim it off. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now, um, if you're like, oh my gosh, like this is such a long thread to kind of um, pull out. What you can do is you can come back in, and then at like intervals, so maybe like three inches in or something, you can just um, cut your cut your um, basting basting stitch a little bit. So then you're just not um, pulling your threads all the way through. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. So I have all my basting stitches out and I can go on the back side and just pull that long thread. These come out fairly easy because we did use such, such a long stitch. So if you can and you want to, um, you can go ahead and, and pull, see if you can pull it out um, both ways. So I'm going to see if I can get it to pull out and I was able to. Um, my thread broke on one of them because I think I just used too much muscle. Um, but then I'm going to come on the back side and pull out my other thread and go ahead and toss that. And what you can see is that now we have um, this nice ruffle that's attached um, just with, with one stitch right in the middle to our back fabric. Um, now um, if you want to, what you can do is take some pinking scissors and just pink around the outside edge if you want or you can also come back and do a turned in stitch. Um, you don't have to, but if you're like, oh, this looks so nice, I want everything to look nice, um, that's just something that you can do. So I might, I might do that and just kind of um, turn things to the back side. So um, this is your double or your single layer double ruffle. So if you just want to write double ruffle on there, um, let me make sure I like that. Yeah, that's okay if you just want to write double ruffle because our next sample is going to be a self-faced ruffle. Um, so just lay, um, make sure that you label that and place it in your binder.